All right, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in. September 22nd, 2020, 9.06 p.m. West Coast time. Taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here. Shows the latest earthquake activity on the map as a 2.5 up around the Alaska region. Not a whole lot of activity out here on this side of the world, folks. Uh, out here towards the Indonesia Islands area, Japan. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely barren. Look, look. Take a look at that, would you? <laughs> It's pretty quiet is what I'm trying to point out here. All the activity aimed towards this side of the globe today, especially along the west coast and also a lot of activity down here uh, in the South America region, also just south of the South America tip there. A couple back-to-back 5.2 earthquakes in, bet in between Antarctica and South America right there. Puerto Rico swarming like crazy today. They've had a, a number of 3.0s bouncing back and forth between the activity up here along the west and the activity down here to the south kind of like right in the middle of those two continents obviously uh, you can see the swarm of activity up and down the west coast here all the way down from uh, Baja Mexico all the way up off the Oregon coast and to see the see this activity a little bit better we need to go over here to this map from the USGS here and you can see up and down Right around the southern part of uh, Southern California, well, south of the border, I should say. Up to the Mendocino Triple Point Junction right up here. That's this area right here. Mendo fault, Mendocino Fault Zone. Cascadia Mega Thrust sits up here. Activity just off the coast of the Blanco Fracture Zone as well. Um, we go further north, we see that activity pick up as well with a 4.1 off the coast. Well off the coast, but in the Fracture Zone of the Juan de Fuca ridge all this activity occurring outside the, of the Cascadia sub subduction zone but uh, definitely kind of surrounding it kind of making uh, make me a little bit nervous throughout the day today we didn't see any large quakes from it but whenever we see activity out here uh, within the region we kind of pay attention to it obviously um, Let's go ahead and go over here to the all magnitude so we can get a little bit better scale here of the activity that's taking place. And uh, yeah, Nevada seen a lot of activity here. Also more activity around the Mammoth Lakes region there. This is the last 24 hours of activity there. You can see activity uh, still kicking up right within this fracture area or at least this fault system here this plate tectonics at work here pressure and whatnot creating these earthquakes about 25 of them or so near the Hilton Creek fault zone just outside of Long Valley super volcano you can see the caldera ring right here um, indicating how massive that thing is hopefully it never blows in our lifetime right uh, so that's still kind of ongoing Ridgecrest still seeing some activity the Garlock fault is fairly quiet Although we are seeing a new cluster of quakes uh, in, a, in a strange area just east of Ridgecrest here. Now normally we see this aftershock activity sequence from last year's earthquakes within this region here. Within, basically within, the, within this line that I'm kind of pointing out there. Uh, but now we're kind of seeing some, uh, some interesting migration here from quakes. A little swarming activity there outside of the normal area for aftershock so kind of keeping an eye on that region nothing really to talk about down south there it's all pretty much uh i'd say central california northward into northern california even a little activity outside of mount shasta right there not on the dome near mount mount cloud mccloud i should say been up there numerous times so i should i should know how to pronounce it Mount Shasta is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful volcano, but deadly. And uh, these folks up here just uh, <laughs> sitting, living next to a sleeping giant. Anyway, pretty quiet for the most part. 1.2, a little microquake there, just south of Mount Shasta. And, uh, you know, you can, you can see a lot of the pressure activity up here along the northern part of the North American uh, continent, or at least the United States here. I can pretty much draw a line within this vicinity right here where we're seeing all the uh, the pressure and whatnot. All the way from, uh, it looks like Eastern Wyoming had a 3.6, which is kind of strange for that region. Not a whole lot of activity in Eastern Wyoming. Uh, Montana's seen some earthquakes up there as well. 
up around Seattle and whatnot, we're seeing some microquakes, a little 1.0, and some more activity near Mount Rainier, or at least outside of the summit region. So yeah, pretty uh, interesting activity over the day today. You know, uh, the latest earthquake there on the map at a little 2.0. You know, I don't think we're done with the movement tonight. We haven't seen any increase in earthquake activity over here towards the west. When we see earthquake activity over here towards the west, we can expect activity over here towards the east to die down a little bit. That's That's been the trend. I see it bouncing back and forth every single day. Um, and it's locked over here. It's pretty, at least the plate movement is in favor of pressure release along the west coast of the North American continent and up here into Alaska as well. Uh, so kind of watching that. I don't think we're done yet, folks, with the activity tonight. Um, I believe we will see release of activity a little bit on the larger side, somewhere along the eastern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's something to watch. Like I say, it's very absolute, very quiet. I mean, look, check out, check out this map. I'm not even joking. This is, I mean, this is weird is all I'm going to say. To see this much quietness along this part of the Pacific Ring of Fire is just very uncommon. And then, uh, like I say, it's been like that all day and all, all last night for the most part and tonight. That's why I don't think we are done with the activity here along the West Coast. A huge cluster of quakes up here in Alaska. This may be the point where we see a, a little larger quake. I, I can't say for sure. But with that massive amount of aftershock, or not aftershock, but uh, some warming going on up there. Um, some of these are some deep quakes too, indicating some subduction zone earthquakes uh, within that region. Be on guard. Definitely be on guard, folks. The trimmer map tonight looks a little quiet, which is concerning because that tells me that there's no slippage going on, which means uh, everything is locked into place here. Uh, no slipping. Uh, you know, how, how do you take that? Do you, do you take it as a good sign or a bad sign? When there's no slippage down here, that means everything's locked in here along the Cascadia subduction zone. That's something to remember and to keep an eye on. Um, what do we got here, folks? Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Let's cover that real quick. Let me zoom in to there. There was a little bit of activity popping up there on the Grant Village Station there. And you can't really see it too much in all these other stations here in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, Grant Village showing a little bit of activity. But on the small side, I cannot get... I cannot get the USGS folks to give me the This Day in Earthquake History. Check it out again tonight. It's almost like they don't want me sharing their information. And that's fine. If they really don't, then I won't. I'll just go to one of my favorite other sites here, Wikipedia. So this day... Oh, uh, wait a minute here. Hold on a second here. We're looking at 19th there. Right? It's not the 19th. Uh, let's see what we got here. I know I've seen it somewhere. Oh, goodness. I really... I, I was looking all over the place for this earthquake or uh, activity on this date. And it doesn't look like there was a whole bunch, at least, um, on this specific date here. And I cannot get the... I cannot get the uh, USGS there to, uh, to issue that. Let's see, let's go back over here. Today in earthquake history, right? Almost like they don't want me to. I've had no problems up until up until recently, in the past couple nights there. It's like they don't want the information out. Is that is that bad? USGS, if you guys are watching, I mean I'm just I'm kinda doing you guys a favor by you know, making videos with your relevant information in it and obviously giving credit to you guys with the address out here so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm uh, going to have to skip that tonight until I can uh, figure out what's going on with that but we'll kick back at it tomorrow. Um, yeah, stay on guard folks. I don't think we're done with the activity out here tonight along the west coast. I just, it's not the activity, the pressure transfer has not bounced back over here towards the west yet. 
there's no sign of it backing um, over here yet either so west coast uh, pretty much i'm thinking from south of mexico right around here north north of uh, south america region up through alaska is a spot to watch for activity tonight um, i think once we see some further movement some large-scale movement in this area uh, then we'll see that pressure transfer back up over here to the west uh, just something to Something to keep note of. Anyway, folks, I gotta go. I got barbecue going, some chicken. I know, I barbecue every night because that's how I cook. I haven't used my stove in, uh, ooh, I don't know, quite a while. It's either micro, it's either the microwave or my barbecue. And I prefer the barbecue, so that's, that's what I'm doing tonight. Barbecuing up some chicken, so. Um, Yellowstone, like I mentioned there, some spikes of activity there. You can see that on Grant Village. It's showing up very distinctively um, throughout the day today, but on a small scale, not uh, not too large of earthquakes, just pretty small microquakes there. All right, folks, have a good night. Uh, please stay safe out there. Live stream is up and running. Come on, come on in to chat. Um, if it does go down, I will fire fire it back up as soon as I can. Have a good night.